Hey folks, Tyler Condors here doing another action figure review now. This is for something I picked up recently. Well, I, uh, I paid for it a while back and then I uh, got it sent via the uh, Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot. So I had a few things all together and then I got this shipped out with it. What this is, is the Kenner Deluxe, uh, well, the NECA Kenner inspired Deluxe Laser Shot Predator. Uh, now, back in the day when Kenner made these, there was a few deluxe predators and a few deluxe aliens. Uh, one of which was this guy, the deluxe um, uh, laser shot, was an electronic predator, just like its NECA counterpart is today. And the other kind of deluxe one that they did in the line that was also electronic was the... Uh, alien swarm alien um, there wasn't really too much in the lines of other deluxe figures I mean the NECA did do the Elder Predator as a deluxe figure in their own line but in the Kenner line the as far as I remember the uh, clan leader the Elder clan leader was actually only a standard kind of Predator release it was on the standard bubble it wasn't in a kind of box or larger card box even the Queen figure, I think it said it was deluxe, but it wasn't like any way bigger than the normal sort of uh, standard boxes. Whereas with Swarm Alien, uh, it came with its own unique style box. I think I may still have the card packaging for that, so when NECA does get around, if they do get around to doing the uh, Swarm Alien, which I really hope to do, it's a bizarre, crazy design. Uh, I will show that packaging off. But for now, let me just move some bits out of the way. This is the box that this guy comes in. If we just get him to stand out up without falling over on me. There we go. So it's kind of the standard ultimate style box where it has the window. It showcases the artwork of the Predator, the Predator and a couple of the other figures available as well. In the photo, the figure itself is in this side. And you can see it when it's in the box. Predator logo on the side. More shots of the Predator doing various action poses. And then a write-up of it saying that the laser shot is a bad blood sociopath with an obsession for te technology and high-tech weaponry. Uh, I'll try and hold that there and hopefully you can read it. I won't read it all out. And then it shows the laser shot with put mask on face, fits over mandibles. Uh, attach shield to remove right gauntlet base, uh, replace with shield accessory. Left hand and claw hand are interchangeable. Flexi grapple hook attaches to the right shoulder cannon. Hook heads are interchangeable. And then just all the kind of standard legally stuff. So, here is the Predator himself. And before I get onto the figure and accessories, I'll do a quick size. So it stands around the eight, just a little under eight inches, which is about right. I think the standard predators, all the older predators used to be in around seven inch mark. The newer ones start, uh, started getting a little taller because of the new body sculpt, but it is quite a nice predator. So I have one of the uh, attachments in its backpack already, which is kind of um, spike or launch spike there's a launching kind of grapple hook you can swap them out they're just on the peg system so if you want to have the launcher have a hook you can do that or a grapple hook then you have the bendy wire which is kind of it doesn't really simulate the original ones gimmick which i'll showcase in a minute because i have the original one but what you can do is there is a kind of an indentation so this is only supposed to go in one way it's a bit tight on mine but what you do is you put it in I'm not sure if you can see that on screen but you can see there's the big large bendy wire and then when you bring the backpack up from the back it's on a hinge so it can hinge over the head and you have it look like it's firing this big grapple line off and you can either have the grapple line with a spear tip or the grapple line with a kind of a grabbing claw but it's quite a long 
length of bendy wire. In fact, I just grabbed the tape measure. I won't be able to do it on screen, maybe, but we'll see. The bendy wire is nearly 10 inches, maybe a little longer, about 11 inches, so it's about nearly two feet, actually, I'd say. Or nearly, or sorry, not two feet, uh, nearly a foot in length. So it is quite a long uh, distance of bendy wire. Now, in packaging, he came with these two hands attached, which are open fist for his right hand, and an open kind of gauntleted hand for the kind of biomechanical hand. Uh, I did swap them out. I don't want to swap them out on camera because it's a bit troublesome and I'm worried if the peg will snap. There is a small peg system on this one and the hand fits into it. The wrist gauntlet does rotate. The arm has all the kind of standard articulation of, as most neck predators. So it has a ball joint, a uh, kind of had joint at the shoulder and then a swivel just under the, at the tip, um, at the bicep. And then the hand on this is unique because it has actual a joint at the base of the finger, a joint at the mid section of the finger, and a joint at the tip of the finger. And I am worried about the longevity of these because it is quite. Uh, Necker are known for having amazing sculpts, but they are not known for. Um, Unfortunately, as I said, they're not known for longevity of their figure, so that was the hand snapping as I try to move it. Unfortunately, that is another thing I'm going to have to check with neck out to see if I can get them get it replaced. Oh, he has the removable shield, like a laser shield, uh, and he has a one that has just the claw part to it. Uh, it does fit into the arm. There's a quite nice gem piece on it. And the arms have double joints. And the wrist is on a swivel with a hinge. He has a waist articulation and an upper diaphragm, but it's kind of hindered because of the armour thing. Uh, as I said, this goes up and down on the back. He does have his LED light. He has his mask, which can be placed over the mandibles it's for some reason it seems to be very hard to do it on this version but you can get it lightly to hold on to it and then when you press what's supposed to happen is when you press on the top of the mask and if you have it lined up right you should be able to see the light for his eye poking through the actual ma uh, mask now on the original one it was different because instead of the eye lighting up, it was this cannon here lit up. So you have that. The legs are on standard joints, a bit hindered by this. He has dual jointed knees, and he has swivels in the leg and a hinge on the leg. Uh, the t joints are quite tight on mine. And as I said, their hinge is on that clawed arm. So, oh, there we go. But he is quite a cool predator, and I do love the light up eye gimmick. As soon as I saw him, I knew I wanted to get him. And just for comparison, here he is with his original NECA counterpart, or sorry, Kenner counterpart. So you can see all the details are there. He has the claw arm, he has the kind of weird wrist gauntlet thing. Now, the gimmick on this one is. This arm is attached to the backpack piece, so when you raised it up, it would kind of click into place. And if you pushed it to, at the right position, the missile would fire off. And when you did that at the same time, because I don't have batteries in this, this LED would light up. And I can't remember if there were sounds on it as well, but I think it just had light up on the LED. So, and then you have the head with a removable mask, just like the new one. Uh, head sculpts are kind of interesting. It does have a weird top knot on the original. Uh, they kind of tried to simulate that a bit on the new one, but it's not as noticeable. But you do have the mask with that weird kind of eyepiece cut out because the guy has the bionic eye part. 
and then you have all these weird kind of blades attached to the sides. Let me just see if I can retrieve the missile. So there he is in all his glory with his original counterpart. And just for another size comparison, here he is with Spike Tail Predator, which is also a Kenner tribute. And I believe this one is Night Stalker Predator. Might have gotten the name wrong. It's the one that glows in the dark. Because there was Night Savage Predator and Stalker Predator, and I think I always kept getting those mixed up. But uh, there you can see them together in all their glory with uh, the new laser shot Predator. Oops. Try and pop his mask on. As I said, mine's a bit finicky to get on. It doesn't seem to line up quite nicely on the mandibles. I'm not sure if it's just the way mine is, but it does. Like, sometimes it looks like it's lined up, but it's off on the eyepiece. So you just have to line it up properly, and it's a bit hard to do on the screen. But uh, as I said, great figure. Uh, unfortunately, as this has snapped off, uh, I don't want to really showcase it on the other ones. But there is a small swivel on the fingers. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. And there is supposedly a hinge on each of the kind of knuckles and on the claw. But unfortunately, I would advise extreme caution when using it because it snaps, as you can see easily. So I was hesitant about using it anyway or moving the fingers anyway, but unfortunately I tried to do it. But I'm going to try and reach out to customer uh, NECA's customer service see if I can just get a replacement hand. It is annoying that it snapped off and... Uh, I will be a bit, uh, I'll do a bit of a brand because about half the stuff I got from my Big Bad Toy Store order was NECA related and I had a lot of QC issues. The stuff that I got, like the Alien Newborn from Alien Resurrection, my Alien Warrior from Alien Res Resurrection snapped in half, and the uh, Bambi Burster from the Alien, Cre Alien Tree Creature Pack has... Um, misconstructed hip it actually has two left hips on it instead of a uh, right and a left on the rear section and the alien newborn has a very bent outer shape hand which i wouldn't have been too annoyed with i could have probably heated it up and put, put, it, put it back into shape but it looks like someone left a soldering iron on the back of its head and it's melted into the um, stuff is melted into the plastic there's some big holes in the plastic where the sculpting should be so that was quite annoying so, all in all, if you do collect Nanker stuff, you should be really familiar with how fragile some of their pieces can be and how to, how be very careful when moving things. Unfortunately, as I said in this one, this review, I tried to move the hands to show you or the fin index fingers to or the fingers to show you how they move, but unfortunately, it just snapped off. So, a trip to the customer service hopefully will replace it for me. Just all I need is the finger, the hand. I don't want the whole thing figure again. So there you go guys, I hope this review has been interesting and entertaining for you. As I say in my videos, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and please help me uh, improve my subscriber base. Cheers!